In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA Finals game number two. Let's get into it. In this installment, <laughs> in this installment, we're gonna be going over the NBA Finals game number two uh, bet slate we got going on between the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. We're keeping that. We're 100% keeping that. But before we deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetJetsD. Uh, don't forget about the TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon. Um, right now, we're at the homepage of the YouTube channel. Currently at 5.72 thousand subscribers. Our goal is 10K. This is the road to 10,000 su subscribers. Um, if you're already subscribed, continue to like and comment. It is so important that you do so when you're watching this video. Just smash that thumbs up. It goes a long way with the YouTube algorithm so we can grow to a broader audience. If you're not subscribed right now, I highly recommend you join the community that we have either on YouTube or on Patreon by hitting that subscribe button right this second. Um, if we're going over the plays of yesterday in the, in the MLB video, it did not go well. It was an absolute opposite day. If literally you took the run line on each and every game, you would have been fine um, on Saturday. They went around crazy. Even in UFC, there's five underdogs that have already won. It's been a crazy underdog day that happened on Saturday. So if you do want the premium plays, if you do want a community that supports you, if you want to be around a group of guys and girls that are going through plays each and every day, that's the benefit of the Patreon. You sign up right now with that link provided down below. We're going to bounce back here in game number two. Let's get into it. I'm so excited to announce I have partnered with Betstamp and Sign Up Expert to provide you guys with an easier way to sign up with any sportsbook in your area. If you go to the link in the description down below, you will be directed to this page you see here. It automatically displays all available sportsbooks in your area plus their current promotions. For example, you could take the plays given in this video and apply it to any other sportsbooks you don't currently have and reap the rewards. Now let's get into the slate. For game number two here, we're looking at the odds we have. Currently right now, we have the home favorite Boston Celtics minus 275 on the money line with the comeback of the Dallas Mavericks at a plus 220. The point spread is at a six and a half. It was, it opened up at a seven. It is down to a six and a half right now. And the total points are set yet again at 214 and a half. For the public bet percentage here, it is the total opposite of what we saw in game number one. It is hilarious how the public is swayed from game to game. 87% of the bets um, on the Boston Celtics. And we have 59% of the money um, on the Boston Celtics. If you remember in game one, it was heavily towards the side with money line and point spread on the side of the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, for the point spread, it is more split down the middle instead of 75% towards Dallas, 50% uh, for the bets, and then slightly over sharp money coming in, 63% of the money coming in on that plus six and a half. Uh, for the Dallas Mavericks, but it is definitely a big difference of what we saw from game one to game two after that blowout. All right. Total uh, points here. Eighty nine percent of the bets, 82 percent of the money um, on the over two fourteen and a half injury report. There is no injury report. Uh, Luka Doncic did pop up, but that's just normal. He is going to play in game two. All right. So literally what happened in game number one is the Boston Celtics came out in the first quarter and blitzed them, all right? That was the whole game. That first quarter was the entire game, all right? They came out and outscored the Dallas Mavericks by 17, and after that, that was pretty much it, all right? There was a little bit of a third quarter comeback, but then the Celtics went on another run there. But other than the first quarter, we had the Dallas Mavericks lose the second quarter by four. The third quarter, the Dallas Mavericks won by one, and then the fourth quarter, the Dallas Mavericks won by two. So other than that 
that first blitz that happened in the first quarter, Dallas Mavericks played up to tempo and up to pace, or at least kept pace with um, the Boston Celtics. There was a little bit of a lot of averages that had to to reverse back on that Boston Celtics side in that first quarter. Um, so looking at game number two here, I highly, highly expect if we're looking at the whole body of work of the Dallas Mavericks and Jason Kidd, we've already seen numerous times in game number ones that the Dallas Mavericks, they tend to lose game number one. It happened in the Thunder series. It happened in uh, the Clipper series. They're downloading information and they're going to come back with uh, a strategy here in game number two. And this is when they usually tend to play better. Um, and also in this Dallas Mavericks run, they have not lost back to back games. So they have they tend to bounce back. Uh, even Luka Doncic tends to bounce back from bad games as well. So for this particular moment here, Jason Kidd is three and zero right now in game number twos. He's looking to go four and zero in game number twos. We'll see if that is able to happen. Um, so we're gonna definitely, definitely take the six and a half point spread here. Love that. I'll take the points here in the Dallas Mavericks with the public backing the Boston Celtics after a blowout win. A lot of people are thinking this series is over. We're gonna be on the side of the Dallas Mavericks here plus six and a half. If you want to sprinkle on that money line, you can at that plus two ton at that plus two twenty. It is very, very appealing. And for the total um of the over and under, we already understand the Boston Celtics tend to lose game twos as well. They did it in the previous two series. Um, in the Miami Heat series and the Cleveland Cavaliers, they lost game two at home. All right. Boston Celtics are a very vulnerable team at home um, in the playoffs. And this is a spot that they can take advantage of them. Um, and in those games uh, with the Boston Celtics in game number two that they lost, they averaged 97 points. OK, so uh, I'm going to be leaning towards the Dallas Mavericks here. I expect them to play better defense and I expect them to score a little bit more and have a more efficient offense here in game number two. So I'm going to be leaning towards the under 214, just like the under happened in game one. I think we're going to see some defensive adjustments um, and I'm going to go under 214 um, in game number two. So those, those are going to be our plays for Sunday. Um, remember, if you do want to sign up for the premium plays, we're going to have prop bets on there as well. So I highly encourage you to go to that link provided down below. If you have any other suggestions, what are your thoughts on game number two here? Are you with the Dallas crew or would you are with you are you with the Boston side? All right. Let me know in that comment section down below and I'll be back with another video very soon. All right. Peace out.